Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my review of Saturday 3, Arsenal 1. Um, I don't think there's any beating around the bush. That was so poor. So, so poor, especially in that second half. And I don't want to overreact because there is a second leg. It's only half time in the tie and we have shown in the past that we're capable of turning it around. At 2 1, I was feeling a lot more confident about that. At 3 1, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm still confident. I think you've got to be in games like this, but 3 1 is a big ask, especially against a side that have really played very well this evening, irrespective of where they are in the French league. I believe they're about 11th in the league. Um, we they, they completely turned us over this evening. It's a shame because the lineup I thought was very strong. Um, we started the game so well, scoring within the first three minutes, and we had so many chances through. Lucas Torreira through Mustafi to make it 2 or 3 nil. We didn't take them and we've been punished. Socrates, who had a few completely brain-dead moments in this game, um, as good as he has been this season, this was probably his worst performance and was uh, correctly sent off in that first half, I have to say. Uh, giving away the free kick, which has been put into the back of net brilliantly on the rebound after it hit the wall from the uh, Stade Rene player. Can't recall his name, sadly. And that second half, where we were down to 10 men, we just made life really difficult for ourselves. We saw the introduction of Matteo Guendouzi, Aubameyang came off. Um, it was really, really an uphill battle. And uh, we created next to nothing, and it was always Stade Rene that, that were going to threaten. Um, they went 2-1 up for an own goal through Nacho Monreal. Very poor from him, and I don't think it was one of his best performances tonight. I thought he really struggled, as did a few other players. And attitudes, professionalism, I thought was off point from a few players this evening. Um... And as well, to make it 3-1, I really think has put us in a, in a dire situation heading into the game in the Emirates Stadium. Great header from Saar, uh, but you've got to wonder who was tracking back. Why are we so exposed? Why are we committing so many men forward when at 2-1 we're still very much in the tie? And I still think we very much are now. We've got to put in a massive performance at the Emirates. And it does mean that, again, similarly to the game against Bate Borisov, we can't rest any of our key men. So we're going to have to go into that game with Aubameyang, with Lacazette, with Aaron Ramsey, probably with Meza Ozil. All these players are going to have to feature at some point. And these are at a time when we're, the games are coming thick and fast. We've played five games in 15 days. Um, and we need all of our men available. And the fact that we're having to overplay them now because we can't see games out in the first leg is really, really frustrating. And, uh, I mean, it's against a team that we definitely should have beaten. Um they had a fantastic atmosphere tonight. It just shows how passionate the supporters are that they applied for 90,000 tickets in a 30,000 seat to ground. It's one of their biggest European nights. They haven't been in the competition since 2011-12. So fair play to them. They played really well. They really played like they wanted to win it to, uh, tonight. And I think they got their game plan spot on. And I think we did for the most part in that first half. It's just when things went out of window after that Socrates red card, we couldn't recover. We didn't recover. And in that second half... Playing the likes of Mkhitaryan at right back with a back two of Koscielny, Mustafi, and then Monreal at left back, it just it it was just all over the place. And uh, I do I do worry about the right back situation as a whole because I don't think Mustafi's got the capabilities of playing there. Emery clearly doesn't rate Maitland Niles there. The only guy that seemingly can do a half decent job there isn't getting a look in in Carl Jenkinson. So um, yeah, I mean it's it's a strange one, but I don't want to be overly negative this evening it was it was a really poor performance don't get me wrong I am really devastated with how the team performs and overall really just disappointed with with what I saw tonight because I don't want this to be the level that we're currently at um it is annoying given the the caliber of teams we've played in the past Barcelona Bayern Munich to go to Stade Rene um a team that are sitting mid-table in the French division and, and to be beaten so convincingly. It's, it just it really is quite a damning blow, especially when we've got Man United at home who've just beaten PSG 3-1. They're going into that game on a massive high. Our confidence has taken a knock. Um, so that, that should be a really interesting game now and a game that I'm not really looking forward to. It's a massive one in the game we've got to win. Um, but I've been saying for the past couple of games now that we're still in with a very good chance of having a positive end to the season. Beat Man United and turn this game around, then we certainly are. But uh, if we lose to Man United and we go out of the Europa League, we're not in a great position to have a strong end to the season. And it's um, it, the end of the season is very quickly approaching. There's uh, you know, just over two months to go now. So it's um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an exciting and a nerve-wracking time. But... Um, I've got the belief and the confidence in this side to turn it around. I don't. I don't think it's uh, 
it's right to write us off um, just yet. It's only 3-1. We're more than capable of winning 2-0, two, 3-1, two 4-1 at the Emirates Stadium and getting ourselves well back in this side, hopefully progressing through and winning it and um, getting into the last eight of the Europa League, which is something that uh, we need to do. But poor tonight, embarrassing at times. Mentality was wrong. Professionalism was off point. But we've had a very good spell up until this game. Um turning around uh, the fixture in the Barte game obviously was the, the ignition of that and then um, getting the result against Spurs the win against Bournemouth uh, we, we've looked a lot more positive in recent weeks um, after that win against Barte so I'm hoping that we have a similar intervention of sorts and beat uh, Renee at home but they're going to be well up for it and they're a much better team than Barte Borisov so 